You are so quiet, my love. If I could see your face more clearly, I should know if you were cross. Are you cross, my lonely angel? Versailles is silent now. I have often complained of the ceaseless chatter, but I fear I've come to miss it. What has become of all the merry chatter? Where are all the people? Why are you so quiet, Doctor? In the many years I waited for you, I imagined we would talk the night away, you and I. And yet, the dark remains, and you are silent. Why can't I see your face, Doctor? I have been assailed by a dream of late, and yet not precisely a dream. I have thoughts in the dark which trouble me. Those clockwork monsters who came to take my head. You told me once that they were in the habit of making portraits of my mind. I believe you said they were scanning my brain, but then you always had such a comical turn of phrase. I took your words to mean that they had made a catalogue of my thoughts and memories and stored them for safekeeping in something I think you called a computer. A computer inside a vessel lost in a distant void. The idea makes me shiver. This computer, Doctor, full of my thoughts and memories and secrets, might it not in time come to mistake itself for me? I fear for this computer creature, Doctor, abandoned in infinite silence. I am prone to loneliness. Perhaps it will share my weakness. I look to you for comfort, but I cannot see you. Why can't I see you? Why is it so quiet, Doctor? Why can't I feel the breath in my lungs or the air stirring on my skin? Where am I, Doctor? Where am I, Doctor?